It is some kind of hot outside in the three digits. We're over 100 today. And not only are we suffering, I've been outside for maybe 10 minutes. I'm already into a sweat. So are our plants, especially those that are grown in containers. Now, these plants, as you can tell, it's very evident. They're wilted. If you look at the soil, it's completely dried out, yet these were watered this morning. Now, plants, obviously, just like we sweat, they transpire, and that's how they cool themselves down. So when we're thinking about our plants that are grown in containers, we need to consider how often they need to be watered. Now, some things will wilt more quickly than others, and this is definitely evidence of it. Repeated wilting can cause major issues. So you want to make a routine, perhaps watering in the morning time or in the evenings. Now, one other thing that will happen with container plants in the summertime, other than drying out very quickly, is that they will become nutrient deficient very quickly. Because we're adding so much water and that water uh, drains from the pot, we will begin to see yellowing like you see here. And so these types of plants will actually need more fertilization to keep them healthy. So as we continue to water these plants, it's a good practice to get yourself a liquid fertilizer so that you can replenish those nutrients that are being washed out of these container plants. Not necessary for those in the ground, but very important for our container grown plants in this hot weather. For Get It Growing, I'm Heather Kirk Ballard with the LSU Ag Center.